Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Been looking into the D500 a little more. I will be getting it in, a review, in for review soon. So I've been looking at the user feedback and the specs. And I was digging around on DXL Mark. I just recently did the video on the tests of the 500 versus the 7200 and the uh, 5500. And I was surprised to see that um, for high ISO, both of those cameras beat the 500. So check that video out if you're interested. I was hoping to get some feedback, some user feedback from those of you that are shooting both. Uh, and hopefully I'll, I will have the 500 in soon and uh, do some testing myself and just give you, hopefully maybe I can even get one of those two bodies in with it to see. But where the 500 does clean house, where it's top king of the pile is against the cannons. Check this out here. So we've got the D500 versus the ADD and versus the 7D Mark II. These are essentially Canon's top end APS-C bodies right now. The 7D Mark II perhaps in a higher class, but the ADD is a newer and perhaps better performing camera. DxO Mark gives the ADD an overall score of 79 and the 7D Mark II a 70. And that's in comparison to the D500's 84. So the D500 beats both of these in terms of color depth. That's the portrait category. Beats both of these in terms of dynamic range. That's the landscape category. And it beats both of these quite handily in terms of high ISO performance. That would be the sports category. Now, these all come together to make the best performance or, or the to explain the full performance of image quality from the sensor. Perhaps of most interest would be the low light ability, and that's 1324 rating on the 500 versus 1135 on the ADD and 1082 on the 7D Mark II. And then probably the next biggest thing of importance would be the dynamic range at 14 stops versus 13.2 on the ADD and 11.8 on the 7D Mark II. So you can see here that the 500 uh, Canon is it's, it's almost kind of disappointing as somebody that owns Canon right now. I've got a 70D in the system. Um, is like the 80D is newer. Uh, actually, well, it's right around, around the same time as the 500. But but essentially, they don't have anything APS-C that beats the best of. Nikon. I mean, the D7200 and the D5500 uh, are as good or better than this 500, according to DxO Mark. And the ADD is the uh, Canon wasn't even able to catch up. They did a 24 megapixel offering, and it can't even match the 7200 or the D5500. It's kind of disappointing. What do you guys think? Does that is it close enough in real world terms that you don't care? Does it just irritate you that Canon can't match Nikon even playing catch up? They can't leapfrog and it, we're not talking about being able to leapfrog and lead the pack. We're talking about they can't even play catch up and be on par. What do you guys think? Leave your feedback below. Let me know what you think about that. What these tests mean to you. Do you care? Um, why? Let's discuss it a little. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.